Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. It's happening. Cooper born in the house. If you don't know what that car is, that's the brother of the Volkswagen ID3. Same, almost same form, but different design a bit. Um, same software, app, uh, um, say this car doesn't have the boost function. The, the car with the boost function will come in a few months. So this is exactly like my ID3, same battery, same motor, 62 kilowatt hour uh, battery, but 58 are usable. 204 horsepower rear wheel drive, 150 kilowatt. Same range, everything the same. This car is newer than my personal car, but you can get an ID3 with the stuff that this car has. So 11 kilowatt AC like mine, but this car can ch charge uh, 120 kilowatt DC. Mine just 100, but I will get an update as, uh, at some point. We're gonna do a comparison video with my ID3 too, but in the afternoon. Now it's 130 kilometers an hour range test. After that, they're going to do a little driving test and then the comparison with my ID3. It's a beautiful car, I have to say. It's really better looking than my ID3. I love that the, the roof doesn't have to be black. I love that this plastic part here is missing. It looks more aggressive. I don't, I'm not a fan of the rims, but you can always decide for different ones beautiful car yeah the trunk door is is, is cute that it, it, it feels heavier than in my id3 but it closes with a better sound <laughs> what wheels do we have 215 45 r20 winter tires i have 19 inch rear is pretty much the same this car is fully spec so you have the panoramic roof head up display and everything does it also has the ski? Yes, it has. Two USB-Cs down there. It's the exact same thing. We're gonna look at the car in more detail, like I said, when I compare it to my ID3. The materials are different. This Alcantara just feels way better. The seats, the sport seats you can have in the ID3 now as well. Even with memory, this car doesn't have memory. And then you have the Alcantara here, but then here, this is rubbery. It's weird. And then here you have your plastic. Middle console is a bit different than in the ID3. It's a bit more, you're a bit more close in, but then you have more stuff to do. So it's up to you what you prefer. The, the whole system is also way different than in my ID3. So there's no buttons down here to get to the climate. You have to do it like this and the seat heater is not even in here. You have to go up here for the seat heater to do anything. And then you always have buttons down here, except when you're in an Android Auto, then this is gone. And here you can just go through the stuff and it works okay. I think you can even go through all the different things here. And then you have your normal view here. It works okay. The buttons on the steering wheel are also different and they work differently. So you have to press a bit harder and slide and you cannot press. So just the press left and right doesn't work. It has to be a swiping. It has to be. The same with this and the same with the... Here you even need a bit more force. If you want to change something, you have to press a bit harder and then up and press down. And if you want just one, this is uh, the cruise control. If you want one kilometers uh, an hour less or more on your cruise control, you have to use set and resume. This is just for 10 kilometers more. As in my ID3, you have only kilometers per hour charging speed. We're charging to 100%. And I want to thank AVP Autoland in Plattling. They gave me this car for a day to test. So amazing. Great dealership. Check them out in the link in the description below. There will be more videos with the Cupra Born, of course, so subscribe so you don't miss them. And uh, maybe you want to check out a channel membership. It's so cool. You get to get the news and all the videos early and if there's what's going on behind the scenes. And of course, merch, because merch is cool. Hoodie, t-shirts, Hits, I don't know, all stuff, millions of stuff, and it's cool stuff, and it's really, really fast.
I'm on the way driving 133 which is GPS speed 130 I started with a hundred percent this car doesn't have treble assist so I have to do it myself I'm already at 91 um, my heat settings I'm in auto I thought I was in auto maybe not not anymore <laughs> um, 22 degrees seat heater on two I will uh, adjust this if I need to if it's too cold but only driver uh, doesn't heat the passenger side or the rear and my data so far is high because uh, it's uphill the first few kilometers and uh, um, I started at 9.53, so 10 minutes ago, it should be true, 9 minutes ago, um, so we know the time at the end, so we have an accurate average speed. And I did this test with my ID3 last year, it was colder, it was 0 to minus 1.5 degrees, but it was dry, it's wet now, not fully wet, but damp. Um, and my car has 19 inch wheels, these are the 20 inch wheels, but these wheels look more uh, uh, streamlined. So they, they look like they could, the consumption could be better. And this car also has the heat pump. And in, in my ID3, my range at the end was 200 kilometers. My consumption was 267. Let's see what it is here today with this car. I'm at 75%. Let's look <coughs> at our data. Why? What? No, stay here. Drove 55 kilometers in 26 minutes. I drive horrible. Consumption 267. Right now, exactly like my ID3 last year. <laughs> Heat is still on 22 in auto. All cool. Still driving. Live stream is going. 115 people here. You should join live stream as well. They're asking questions, I try to answer. I don't know everything. Still doing my 133. Range is 186 kilometers, the car says. But it was 250 when it was full. Um, we'll see. It's a nice drive. And I, and I really think it's louder in here at 130 than in my ID3. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm at 50%. Let's look at our data. I drove 106 kilometers, consumption 268. 51 minutes, that's also correct. And yeah, we have, uh, what is it? it? Takes a bit, 84 kilometers to go to the charger, so the starting point. And I have 125 kilometers of range, that is 40 kilometers of margin. That is cool. The weather is fine, it's a bit damp, not really wet. Traffic is also good, I had to pass a few cars, they were driving just a kilometer an hour less than I did. And then you have to pass them a bit faster, otherwise you're in the way. But car is working pretty nice. Consumption is like ID3. I don't think there's any difference here. We'll see at the end. But that's my prediction. I'm at 25%, double click, that's my data, um, 
still have 33 km 32 kilometers to go, 64 kilometers of range, so the gasometer is now adjusting to my speed better. Same as in ID3, it's it's it doesn't go down as good as I would like it to. So the reaction time of the of the gasometer is not that great. But 32 kilometers and then we charge. I arrived with 11%, um, drove 190 kilometers, it shows the same number as ID3 did last winter, it, uh, the real uh, distance is 191, calculate that in a second, consumption 26.3, that's very close to my ID3 with 26.7, but it was colder with the ID3, today it was 1.5 to 2.5 degrees, with the ID3 it was 0 to minus 1.5 degrees. And this car has a heat pump, my, my car doesn't have that. And the less range, uh, the more range here in this car is because my car was already, has the, the uh, uh, less battery capacity of driving and not using it very well. Okay, I just calculated and it's 214.6 kilometers. I put all the data here so you can see. Temperature, tires, all the info that I can get off this, uh, off this drive. Uh, drive was perfect when it comes to speed. It was it was it above 127 kilometers uh, average speed. Car is great. It's a very fresh battery. That's why I had 10 kilometers more than my car when I did the test in February, January. I don't know. It was already four month old or five. And now I, um, my car even has 8% loss and this car has made me nothing. It has 500 kilometers on it. It's t a week old. <laughs> um, but I will now drive it down and do a charging test on the other side. Um, and more videos coming with this car. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.